You've loosened gun laws in your state, and you hold an A rating from the for the NRA. Look, if the argument is if we no just ban. have more gun bans and more gun laws, Chicago would be the safest place in the country. Law, the guns that are used in Chicago are coming from states that have looser okay. gun laws. So look, yeah. so the Democrats had the House, the Senate, and the presidency for two years. They did nothing. I, I have the safest state in the country. Why are you holding on to this one gun? Yeah. No, I'm not banning any guns. Again, if it was that easy, the Democrats would have done it. The NRA appears to be stepping up for Connecticut NRA instructors. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Farms, LLC. PAN Farms, NRA Certification of Multifaceted Gun Training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfiremsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like channel-like content and what I do here, you can support me with the link. Everything is appreciated. And a PSA for my Connecticut residents, if you plan on getting your Connecticut pistol permit, please get the training done before July of 2024 because then after that, it becomes longer, harder, more expensive just to disincentivize you from going out and getting your permit. And getting a firearm, if you have your permit, watch the expiration date. Don't let it expire. And this is a nice segue into what we're talking about today. According to some information that I came across, the NRA now, if you remember, when the state changed the training requirements on the HB 6667, the NRA said they were not going to change their training to fit into this new law. Well, apparently they've had a change of heart. That's the only way I can put it. According to information that I've managed to find, this is coming from the actual Special Licensing and Firearms Unit, they're claiming that the NRA has provided five lesson plans that they think may meet the new statutory language, which means it looks like they stepped up and changed up the training requirements to fit in with the new law. Our range is currently reviewing them and attempting to hopefully make one of them work the way we made basic pistol work. Hmm. We hope to have an answer for this by the first of the year, which hasn't happened yet, but which will give NRA instructors a chance to get the instructor part under their belt, begin teaching before the old certificates sunset on 7-1. And as follow through for the record, USCCA has not submitted an updated lesson plan, which we have required of everyone for consideration. That's very interesting. And once again, this is from a Sergeant Brianna Maurice from the licensing unit. I find that interesting. Good news. It's good news. The NRA has stepped up and submitted a course plan. Now, I don't know what the new course plan is going to be. I don't know what additional training is going to be required for NRA instructors to actually teach it. But this is positive news because I know there are more NRA instructors than pretty much everything else. And my only concern is, is that the attorney general and the governor does not have their hand in this process of deciding what course is good enough and what course is not because that could lead to some serious issues. But I will keep on top of this. Obviously, being an NRA instructor myself, I have to be on top of this. But we're going to see where this is going. But as I said, positive news for now. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.